welcome back to a new vlog it's been the longest time since i've spoken to you i uploaded a vlog last week which was my weekend in london and actually i filmed that three weeks before so it's been over a month um i'm really sorry i know you guys really love the vlogs and i got into such good rhythm with it but i've had a lot going on a lot of personal stuff happening in my life at the moment so yeah it's been quite difficult to focus on creating videos when you're not really in the mood to um but we're kind of at the other side i might be a little bit sporadic with videos but i'm sure you guys understand i don't really want to go into details but yeah all is good so this video i'm really excited about i'm basically going to an event on saturday which finally after lockdown we are finally back to like going to events and getting dressed up and i'm so excited it's with all of my friends from home like my friendship group from home um i don't know i don't think i've vlogged them before i might have done i i'm not sure um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it it's on saturday and today is thursday so i thought i would film a little kind of like finding my outfit, getting ready, like prepping for the event and then do a little vlog of the event as well. Um, basically, we usually go to Ascot. If you followed me on Instagram for a while, you might remember some of my stories and stuff like that. Um, our friend Harry kindly, kindly takes us to Ascot. He's got a box in the Royal Ascot so we get super dressed up. Um, the boys wear top hats and like morning suits and it's like such an amazing day. Um, we go over in a helicopter. I literally am like, what the hell is my life? So much fun. Um, but because of the restrictions, you're only allowed six people in the box and there's so many of us. I think there's about 12 of us going. So it's just very difficult for him to invite only six people. So we're going to be doing it at his house instead this year, which I'm still equally excited about. We're still going to be dressing up. Um, we're still having like a sit down lunch. I think he's organised a restaurant to come in and we're going to have like um, a proper lunch and a bar and everything like that. And we're going to just have the race on the TV, the races on the TV. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The weather is horrendous today. It's like, it's still quite warm, but it's been torrential rain all last night. You would have seen at the beginning yesterday, I was just topping up my tan and it was boiling hot. Um, don't worry, I wear SPF 50 and I apply it every hour. Don't want any comments about that. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just film my process for getting ready. I thought it'd be quite interesting to see, give you some inspo if you're getting ready for a wedding or an event or anything. Um, so, outfits. I've had a bit of a disaster. I did kind of leave it a little bit last minute because I had a dress in mind and oh, the dress arrived and I absolutely love it but unfortunately it just doesn't fit me and it is the smallest size so I can't really do anything about it. So I'm not wearing that now. I have to find something new. We basically spent, me and my mum, all of last night looking online trying to find some ideas of what to wear because I just, I don't really know. But we're going shopping today so we're going to go and look in some shops see what we can find and basically today is my last hope if i can't find anything today and i literally don't have anything then i could pop into london tomorrow but i need my outfit by end of day tomorrow because i'm going to jack's house tomorrow night so i need it so yeah a bit stressful but it'll be fine i have got a few backup options that i've already got at home um a dress that my mum wore to an event um a while ago which she's given to me which i could wear um so i've got a few things but this is kind of what i'm thinking so because we're doing it at harry's house it's not like the restrictions aren't as strict royal ascot is really strict on the dress code you have to have shoulders covered you can't be showing any of your stomach you can't have any of your legs it has to be a dress past the knee um it is pretty intense and they do come around to you and say like can you put your top hat on please sir or things like that it's really cool i love it but anyway so i can kind of wear what i want i guess um and this skirt i actually bought from zara uh kind of like a couple of months ago i think and it's really beautiful it's just like a slip skirt and it has a slit at the front i really love it 
and I just popped my Chanel brooch on this little ruche here because I think it looks really cool. Um, so this could be an option if I found a really nice top to go with this. This could be an option. I'm gonna be wearing my Dior heels as well. So the kind of theme I'm going for is black and white or black and cream. So these are my shoes. I don't even know if I've shown you these yet. I think I showed you a little bit of them. Well, I think I showed you them a little bit when I went into the Dior store and got them a few weeks ago. But they are just so beautiful. I love them. They are so comfortable. I've already worn them quite a lot actually. And I just I, I just love them. So I'm going to be wearing those. And then yeah. I'm thinking this slip skirt could be a good option. So anyway. I think we're going to head off now. So I'm going to shut my window. It's so hot today. It's really like muggy and humid. I'm boiling already. So I'm going to bring my shoes and I'm also going to bring this skirt with me so I can try it on in the changing rooms because I do think they are open. And yeah, it gives me a better, over, better idea of what I'm wearing. So I will probably see you when I'm there and I'll try and show you some bits that I'm trying on. I'm in Zara and I've picked out some bits to try. Um, a few things. So I'm going to try them all on and see what I think. Okay, I've just tried on this dress. And I think this is the winner. I love it. Mum likes it. I think it's really nice. It's also got like a little strap detail at the back. I like this one. Maybe this is the one. I've got a couple of other. I've also got a couple of other bits to try. So I'm going to try those on and see. Okay, this is my final outfit. I thought I'd just try it on. I've just got home and I've just tried to curl my hair a little bit, but because I did a hair mask last night, it's so soft. Um, so I need to like properly do it and set it and whatever. But um, yeah, this is my hat that we showed you in the store. I love it. It's so perfect for this because you can't, it's not annoying. And um, previously when I've been to Ascot, I've worn actual hats like not a headband this is obviously on a headband and they're great and i love them and i think they're really flattering but they're quite annoying because they do sit on your whole head and i found that i had a massive line here um where the hat was sitting and like my makeup rubbed off and it was just a bit like stressful whereas this because it's so lightweight looks amazing but it's not really in your way um, and then my dress is from Zara, which I can't believe this is from Zara. I just think it's beautiful and also really versatile. I feel like I can wear this anywhere. It was $49.99. The hat was $110 from John Lewis. I'll try and link everything below. I love the back detail on this. It's just like rope straps and then a little tie, which you can like adjust and tighten it. Ideally, I would prefer it if this was just taken in like that much. Um, but it's fine like I really like the dress and I love the details on the bottom and um, it's got like this scallop detail here I just think it looks really expensive and I was looking at dresses from self-portrait and this really reminds me of it um, and then yeah my Dior heels as I showed you before I love my outfit I'm so happy with it so that's done tick
I've literally just woken up. Um, I gave myself a bit of a lion this morning. It's half eight. Um, so, I'm going in the gym. I have got my gym stuff on. I thought I'd just show you my gym kit in case any of you are wondering. So, I am wearing this sports bra is from H&M. I really like H&M sports bras. I feel like they fit really nicely. And, yeah, they're just, like, really simple. And then my leggings are from Azanola. I love Azanola leggings. They are, like, the seamless, kind of, like, lycra, stretchy materials. Super soft. These ones are in, like, a, kind of, like, a lilac-y colour. They're really comfortable. So, yeah, that's my workout outfit. I'm going to go and do some cardio, some strength training, some um, Pilates, like, stretching and stuff like that. Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've spoken to you. It's now half five, I'm just waiting for Jack to finish work and come pick me up because I'm staying at his house this evening. Um, but I thought I'd update you on kind of like my pamper stage of the day. So, I, I'm sorry I didn't film it, I was going to, but um, I just completely forgot to be honest but I had a lymphatic drainage facial earlier my mum is a beauty therapist so she did it for me uh yeah feels amazing my skin feels so hydrated I've only got a tiny bit of concealer on this spot and a little bit under my eyes and that's it I've got no makeup on at all on my skin and I feel so so happy with it so it's feeling really hydrated and like lifted and nice um and then she also did my eyebrows so she just plucked them a little bit just tidy them up I always ask her to pluck them kind of like going up a little bit because I feel like it lifts my eyes and yeah really like them uh what else did I do I had a bath and I've like exfoliated all my skin so that's feeling really nice and soft and I shaved and everything I also did my nails um just checking you can see that so I literally just did like a french manicure basically um just one coat of base coat then one coat of just like a little sheer pinky color and then i just do a white tip really thin across the top and then just um top coat and that's it just gels nothing crazy i like my nails to look clean and simple so i've done that and then i've packed all my stuff all my toiletries all my beauty products <laughs> um and everything needed for getting ready tomorrow and then i've just done my jewelry as well because um i love jewelry and i always l think that jewelry just ties everything together so i was going through my jewelry box and deciding what earrings to wear just now so i've gone for these are both from astrid Amu, this little star and this gorgeous like cluster i love this pearl is from um french connection actually really affordable and then on this side i've just got a moon and a pearl and then i'm just gonna wear my normal like a uh, snake chain gold chain from astrid Miu, my rings just like my normal stuff really but i will show you that tomorrow sorry the light keeps changing i'm, I'm finding this camera quite irritating with the exposure i don't know if it's annoying for you um, but yeah, I'm all packed up and ready. I'm just waiting for Jack to pick me up. Um, I thought I'd show you what, how I've like packed up my stuff. So the reason we're staying at Jack's is actually because he lives closer to Harry's than me and we're getting a lift. Whereas if we go to, from mine, nobody can really give us a lift. Um, so I put my hat, my dress, my bag and my shoes in here. Um... So it's nice and neat and organised and oh, it's just so satisfying. This box is really handy actually. I'm really excited to vlog um, the event as well. I can't wait to get all my friends in there. I think you guys will love them because I know you really loved seeing me and Jack together in my last vlog. So yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday and I've just got ready. We are leaving in I think like half an hour. Um, Jack's just finishing having a shower. Whew. I have done my hair. I've done it with the Dyson, the smaller barrel, so that it's just a little bit more curly and a bit more volume. And then my makeup is literally just the same as usual. Nothing's really changed. I've just put a bit more on just so it stays kind of like all day. Um, and then I've got my dress on. I absolutely love this dress. I'm so happy that I got it. I think it's so pretty. I love it. It's really, really comfy. It just kind of like hangs. It's not 
too um, fitted or anything. It's really comfy. So um, I just need to put my shoes on and then I'm ready to go. I also brought this jacket with me. Um, it's just from Zara. Let's show you it. It's just like a little kind of Chanel inspired boxy jacket in white. And I just brought that because it's pretty cloudy outside. So yeah, it's not the best weather. But I'm nearly all ready. So when me and Jack are ready, I will show you what Jack's wearing. And I'll show you like the finished look when it all comes together. And then we'll be on our way. The big man is ready. Last night was so fun. Well, actually, it wasn't last night. It was yesterday. We went home at like 8 p.m. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. I had such a good time. I hope you enjoyed the little montage that I put together. We are just in the car on the way to town. We're going to take Gracie out for a walk. That's who's panting. And grab a coffee. And then it's such a horrible, like, miserable day today. So I think we're just going to have a cosy Sunday afternoon on the sofa and watch Real Housewives of Cheshire. Um, but my cat, I love, it's from Casual Field, which is Anna Maria on Instagram. I love her, she's so cool. It's her um, brand and I love it. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, and yeah, my back's splashing. So I thought I'd end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and comment below and let me know what you're up to. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.